It's the Taco Berry Bug Show. You heard me? It is a bug invasion. It is an infestation. You hear me? Not an invasion, but it's an infestation. We will infest you. We come through every cracks and crevice. Wherever you don't like bugs, that's what we are. Watch out. There are many of us. It is a bug nation. We run the world. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, y'all. It's Taco Berry Beezy. You hear me? Coming in for show, man. I want to give y'all a little light little interview. This is going to be a short, man. I bought this cheap optic for my BCM arrow build. I built this BCM Faxon barrel, pin barrel, looked in, BCM muzzle brake, uh, TLR. Nah, this is the correction. Enforce. Chinese copy. Because I thought it was an enforce, but I got a copy. Took too long to get here. Two weeks. Made in China. Knock off. It works, though. Power field. One by six by 24 optic. And I have some good ones, but you know, I want to cheap out just to see if it'll work. And I put a thousand rounds through this and the optic, it's been holding up. It's, it's been holding zero. Uh, the only complaint I have about this optic is it fish bowls. And anybody know anything about optics know what I mean about fish bowls. It is, man, it's horrible. It's like looking through a fish bowl. But that's the only drawback and complaint I have about this. It doesn't fog up. It didn't fog up. My glasses fogged before this joker fogged. And I done shot it in high humidity, low humidity, a lot of dust. I done shot it in all type of environments. But it, it for 150 bucks, it held up. And normally my scopes are anywhere from 500 to 15. The most expensive I have is a 1500, $1,500 Trichicum. And to be honest, I got a $400 Swamp Fox, one by eight. That's clearer than a 1500. So it, sometimes it don't matter how much you spend uh, because just because it's high don't mean it's high quality. Just because you pay a, a premium don't mean it's high quality. Here they got Glocks. Glocks are supposed to start out at 400 bucks, 499. You know, just because your Glock a thousand dollars and it can be a stock Glock don't mean that it's worth it. Now, if you got a Terran Tactical, now that's different. You know, if you got a tallow, it's different because that's not factory Glock. You know, they put some money into it. If you got Smith & Wesson, you got Smith & Wesson Performance Center. If it's Performance Center, oh, yeah, you, you paying that premium for a reason, you know. But for the most part, I'm just saying, it's some stuff out here, man, that you really don't have to put all that high dollar stuff on there, you know, because you're putting a $1,500 scope to impress somebody else and they do the same thing as a $150 scope. I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna say it. You stupid. <laughs> Cause I'm I'm not finna spend no money and press nobody. If it's not functioning, you got to go. I just upgraded from I wanna say, let me look at this. What's a Romeo 5? I wanna think. Yeah, Romeo 5. I had this Romeo 5. I confiscated off somebody else's rifle. I'm not gonna say no name. Stole out their rifle and gave them a bush nail. I'm savage. But I went and got that strike. That vortex strike. And that Vortex Strike, I like it. And it mates with the Vortex um, Magnifier. And so I got the Vortex Strike and Magnifier. I got to go put some rounds to this because I put this on last night. I didn't get a chance to shoot. And while I'm off, I'm going to go waste a couple thousand dollars buying ammo. Ammo is high. I mean, like, whew. what I want to say, you can buy a piece of or be cheaper than buying ammo. Use your imagination. I'm not paying for one. My mama said don't pay for one on women. <laughs> you can get both of them for free if you just ask. But um, <laughs> I digress. But back to this joker here, man. Um, like I got a, I got a thousand, I got probably like 1100 rounds through it. And this little thing is still stiff to the by six. But uh, when you go out with it, it's cool. But when you in at one, a fishbowl. That's the only complaint. Everybody be, ah, that's cheap. <laughs> I done seen reviews on this Joker probably from three years ago. But man, this thing have been solid. And I've shot brass. I've shot steel. I've shot hot loads. I've shot re reloads from a friend of mine. I don't know what he was shooting. I just shot it, you know. And it held zero and it's holding zero fine. Like, besides the fish bowling, that's the only thing I can I can complain about it. Like, that's the only thing I can't complain. Like, 
it's just fishbowl, you know, and that's because of my glasses, because without my glasses, if I got the contacts on, it don't fishbowl. But with my glasses on, it fishbowl, but I don't know, it might be a me situation. But then again, you know, I heard the optic had fishbowl, so, mm -hmm. but it's a fishbowl. But anyway, for $150, if you don't have the budget to go spend fifteen hundred dollars, man, go buy this optic, one hundred fifty dollars. You can get it on Amazon. Probably cheaper depending on where you get it. You know, if they got it in stock of Optics Planet or somebody, but one hundred fifty bucks, ship. Man, this thing ain't gonna work. If you're not a shooter, like I'm a shooter, I shoot every chance I get. I mean, shooting is like a drug. I got to, I got to get my fix. So I shoot a lot. So with me shooting a lot, you know. It might be more practical to go get a Barris or a Vortex, um, Strike Eagle or something like that, or probably a Swamp Fox, you know, or Trigicum. Now, if you're doing three gun or something like that, cool. You know, could you pull this off with that? I don't know. I haven't put it in that situation, but I don't know. You know, I might just do that. I might just test it to see if I can actually pull it off and go do a three gun match and see if it'll hold up because three guns is vigorous. If you're... Hey, three guns will let you know if your gun gonna hang. Three guns is like the Olympics and basic training mixed in for guns. So if, it, if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen now. If it's gonna break, it's, we're breaking a three gun match. So I'm, I'm gonna take it out and see what it'll do. But for the most part, y'all, you know, I just want to get this little light review. It ain't nothing, nothing major. It's just, I've been having it for a little while now, a couple of weeks, just a little while. Um, and I put over 1100. 1100, probably about 1100, if not 1,050, 1100, give or take, rounds into this Joker. And like I said, the only drawback I have about this fishbowl, and I like it because it's an LPVO, and if you see, it got a different, it got different replicas. You can use it as a red dot, that's green. I used it for the day. And then it has red, I used it at night, because, you know, green just too bright at night. But in, in the daytime, I use the green. So you can use it as a red dot and just pew, dot, 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 take it off. Dot, 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 dot. Or you can use it as a scope, you know, low power variable, you know. But it's a, it's a nice little optic, y'all. This is a nice little bill, man. I BCM just joke out. Fax and barrel, a little pen, pencil barrel, BCM brake, BCM brake, uh, BCM boat carrier. Uh, BCM Gunfighter Charging Hand. I love these things, man. A lot of people like the Raptors, but if I can't get a Raptor, I will. This thing is awesome. Even with the optic on it, you know. It's, it's, it's optimal. And I got a Arrow Lore. That's an Arrow Lore. Guys the trigger. Anti-walk pins. Old style. You know, that's tech and that. I'm a dexterous. Safety. And I forgot what grip this is, but it swells to the palm of my hands. It's awesome, though. You know, when I can, and if you look, I shoot. See, that's a shooter. That lets you know I'm a shooter. You know, I'm not I'm not playing. Yeah, I use that. I don't want a padding off that joker. You see that? That's when you know you put your faces out already. You know, a shooter. But I like this little joker, y'all, and it's nice, you know. A lot of people get mad about my rails, key mod, but it's BCM, key mod, rail. I like key mod, man, because I still have a lot of key mod attachments from when I first started building ARs. And this is, I think it's an old M-Lock. That's an M, old style M-Lock. Um, rare from Midwest Industries. And this thing here is a tank. If I SB or a firearm, this would be it. I would, man, this thing here, man. This thing, I can do what this thing do. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it one. One, one, one thousand with you, y'all. Like this thing, this thing. Shh. Now I got to see what this strike or do on it, you know, with the strike, cause that's a nice little, you know, I like that. Let me see that. It got the little red tint on it, makes it look like that the light is on, but there's just a tint on it. What you call it? But it got the tint protector to stop it from sending a flash, you know. You want to scope somebody, it'll send a mirror flash. Like somebody took a mirror and flashed the lens wheel, but that have stopped it. You know, it ain't like I'm in here on some covert, but it's considered a pistol. She got this long tube, but this long tube really helps me with um, felt recoil pulse. Because since it got a longer way to travel for that boat carrier with that spring, man, it, I mean, look at it, man. It's just like butter. Look, look. Okay.
this is my rifle. I kind of like this rifle. People don't see it that much, but I like this rifle. I'll hunt with this. This will be a hog hunt. If I'm gonna hunt with a pistol, this will be my pistol. You know, I hunt in all rifles. Please put a light on your rifle. And I heard somebody tell my boy strapped up P. Why you got a light on your gun? You give away. Whoever said that, you're an idiot. You are an idiot because if I pull out every rifle I have, every last one of my rifles have a light on it. Every last one of my pistols that I carry, if I can see a carry, it has a flashlight on it. A flashlight is because I, I wear glasses and I need to see. You need to identify your target. Identify your target before you engage. Identify your backstop. Know what's behind you. Now, I'm going to give you guys a story. Um, a couple years ago, I was in a situation where some young men approached us with a couple of handguns and some rifles. And I didn't identi identify the threat. But it was one of those moments to where I had to react. I, I didn't have time to think. So that's when training come in. When you train, your body is going to react to the training. If you don't train, it's a whole nother episode. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you guys an episode on that. But I was in a situation where I had to react. And I had a split second to react. Because if I didn't react, it was six or seven of us out there. They could have died. I was the only one with a firearm, legally legally licensed to carry a firearm and in the process of me firing people my bullets didn't hit my target my bullets entered someone's home my bullet almost hit a pregnant lady the lady had did this and when she walked past the bullet hit here and as she walked the bullet hit here and here it almost hit a pregnant woman now i, I Probably couldn't take that on my conscience. But needless to say, you know, know your backstop. That's where the flashlight come in handy. If you if you don't know your backstop, you don't know your bullets are going, and if your bullets ain't going where you're trying to make them go, I know it's hard, but sometimes it's not even worth the shoot. Because the difference between us and peace officers, a peace officer, aka police, have qualified immunity. Meaning, while in the process of him doing his job, it's certain things he can do and he gonna get away with it. Qualified immunity, I'm gonna give you an example. It was um, a shooting I was living in Irving. It was a few years back, probably like 10 years ago. I was living in Irving. They shot this guy down. He had a cell, he had a house phone in his hand. Those bullets, they shot over 50 times. They went through bullets, went through apartments, almost hit people and everything. Nothing happened. I shot defending my life and the lives of others. $30,000 bond. Then it got dropped to, I want to say, 1500 or something like that. Bond. Two bonds. One attorney who screwed me had to hire another one. $21,000 cash total and attorney fees. Two years of my life on hold. Two years of COVID came. I got off workers' comp. I couldn't go to work. Two years of my life on hold. Nobody want to hire me because they see a pending felony with dead to conduct on my record. So know your backstop. I'm saying this to say this. Know your backstop. And sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get them up off you. And that was the situation I was in. I was wrong, but I was right. But still in the wrong. In the wrong because I didn't know my backstop. And I didn't know where those bullets was going when I fired them. You need to know where your bullets is going when you fire them. I was right because I was in a situation I didn't have time to think. I just had to shoot. And they shot first just because they shot they shot first and missed. That's the only thing that saved us. Because if they'd have hit, what if they'd have hit when they shot the first time? Pow. As he shot, pow, as he pow, um, pow, 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 pow. They get him up off us. I wasn't shooting. I'm shooting to try to annihilate. I was trying to stop that threat. But in the process of, the, of that threat, it's more than one. I got more than one assailant. It's five or six of them. It's one of me. It's six or seven of us sitting out here. So I got to protect us. You know, that's my mindset. But know your backstop, man, and have a light. Illuminate. Even if you don't wear glasses, see what you're shooting at. If you can't shoot at what you're shooting at, don't shoot. That don't make you a punk. Everybody, oh, he ain't bust back. Sometimes it ain't right to bust back because you busting back might hurt somebody. And now you got a criminal negligent homicide. Yeah, you get 10 years, but you just killed somebody. Somebody can't come back, man. Think about that can't come back from that but that's all i want to say man you know i want to give you guys a little 
review on my optic. You know, a little light lesson. Know your target. You know, identify your target. Know your backstop. Know your bullets are going before you release that that trigger. Because you release that trigger once that bullet is gone, you can't bring it back. And, <laughs> and you can't stop it. Then if you accidentally hit somebody, your tail is grass and whatever state you in, the state versus you, because that's what he's going to say on this subpoena, the state of blah, blah, as they say, the state of Texas versus Tiger Bear Bug. And, hey, if you don't got no money, you can't pay to play. Just go, oh, God bless me to pay to be able to play. And, you know, I'm here. I got my license back. I'm still legal. And now state of Texas changed the game and said, hey, anybody can tow the gun, but I'm still going to keep my license so when I go to other states. But you guys have a nice one. Tiger Bear Bud, you got anything you want to know, hit the comments. Hit me on Instagram. Any questions, I answer it. If I can't answer it, I'll find somebody who knows the answer. And I can get it because I'm very knowledgeable about a lot of things. Have a good day. Tiger Bear Bug out. Say goodnight to my babies. Good night, y'all. Good night. No, watch it. Wait, wait. This is jealous. This is jealous. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Already. Y'all have a good one.